a story earlier on a Calgary Bow constituent that attended the welcome back announcement for Deborah Drever. The event was closed and the lady really shouldn't have been there. Plus she started to raise her voice at the people that were watching over the door to the event. Although I don't agree that she should have been let into the event, I thought the next move was really unnecessary. It looked like who I thought was Shane Bostock, the husband of NDP MLA, Stephanie McLean, pushed the lady in an attempt to keep her out of the event. Oh, oh my God. God. Oh, oh, God. God. Don't be pushed. Did you get that? I it's got all that. On tape. The police were also there and they were called on behalf of the protesters. You'd think for an event swarming with the media, someone would have mentioned this in their story. But take a look at this tweet from Michael Lumsden from News Talk 770. It suggests that the protesters were arguing and that the police had been called on them, but that wasn't the real story here. Several other articles also came out and there was really no mention of this incident. You'd think for an event with so many members of the press present, someone would have produced a balanced story on this incident, but none surfaced. Even NDP MLAs like Shea Anderson and Marie Renault deny knowing who this man is. But isn't this the type of behavior that helped to get the NDP elected in in the first place? I didn't see any coverage of the NDP and its paper candidates until a day before and even after the election happened. Do you think the general public would have voted for a guy like Rod Loyola who idolizes Venezuelan dictator Hugo Chavez that hugely abused human rights if they had been forewarned? Long live Hugo Chavez. Long live the values that he stood for. Compañero Presidente Hugo Chavez. For the Rebel.media, I'm Holly Nicholas.